Armed Shiite units belonging to the Iraqi Islamic Resistance Movement fired rockets at the military airfield in Harab al Jair, which is used by American forces stationed at bases in the Syrian province of Hasaka. Al Mayadeen TV channel reported this, according to channel, several strong explosions were heard at the airfield, and a thick column of smoke rose into the sky. Previously, this military facility was attacked by a kamikaze drone, no information was provided about the consequences of the attack according to our Novosti reports, an American base in the Karab al Jair area in the Hasaka province in northeastern Syria came under rocket fire, but four missiles were fired at the American base in Karab al Jair, resulting in several explosions and a fire. A source close to the situation told the agency, after this, American helicopters were lifted into the air. There are no reports of casualties. Attacks by Shiite militias against American bases in Syria and Iraq began in October 2023 after the Israeli invasion of the Gaza Strip and stopped two weeks ago with the beginning of the Muslim fast in the month of Ramadan, according to the Al Modin news portal. U.S. military installations in Syria have been subject to 99 attacks since October 2023 by Iranian-backed militias fighting on the side of the Syrian army against terrorists from the Islamic State group. NATO is encouraging its member nations to stock supplies for World War III. Saber-rattling between NATO and Russia has intensified in the past month, including French President Emmanuel Macron repeating the possibility of sending ground troops to Ukraine. According to Newsweek, Pierre Schill, the commander of France's ground forces, said that it could command a 60,000-strong force in Ukraine and that troops would be ready if called upon with threats from Russia that any intervention in Ukraine could lead to wider global conflict. Some have suggested that NATO is encouraging its member nations to stock supplies for World War III. A March the 20th post on X by commentator Ian Miles Chung that has been viewed 57,000 times said, NATO is now telling people to stock up on supplies in the event that World War III begins tomorrow. Next level fearmongering. You know none of them are actually taking this seriously because the media's only talking about Kate Middleton and European politicians and celebrities aren't even bothering to hunker down and do anything that would even remotely imply that they're thinking about any potential for a conflict with Russia. If they were really so pressed, they'd have started the draft and mobilized production on munitions instead of worrying about carbon taxes and climate change. The post included a video of Admiral Rob Bauer, chair of the NATO military committee in which he said, you need to have water, you need to have a radio on batteries and you need to have a flashlight on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first 36 hours. Things like that. It's simple things. While some of what Bauer said could be interpreted in the manner described by Chung, the context of the conversation should be considered. Bauer's comments were taken from a joint press conference from January the 18th, where he did speak about preparedness, albeit with a little more depth than the truncated clip and social media post provides. Bauer was asked for his reaction to Swedish citizens panic buying radios that don't need electricity, tents and signing up for self-defense forces. The Swedish government had recently warned citizens that war could come to the country, France 24 reported. Support for Ukraine could go beyond arms supplies, France's top general. Russia should not expect the West to limit its support for Ukraine to arms supplies. General Thierry Burkhard, chief of the general staff of the French armed forces, said this according to AFP. The war will end when Russia stops attacking, Bacard told reporters after talks in Paris with General Mikhail Boden, the commander of the armed forces of new NATO member Sweden. Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin has built his operation on the idea that the West will never go into Ukraine but will simply supply weapons. Bacard said, we have to show him that he cannot use this logic to go all the way because this idea is not correct, he added. The war in Ukraine concerns us because we are involved in its aftermath. Therefore, Europeans must be able to take risks to ensure the security of Europe in the next decade, the general said. Despite the controversy surrounding his remarks about the possible deployment of Western troops to Ukraine, French President Emmanuel Macron refused to back down, insisting that his statements were well thought out, but also stressing that France would not follow the logic of escalation in its relations with Moscow. 
Subsequently, commenting on the idea he raised, Macron stressed that if such a scenario were to be implemented, French forces would not launch an offensive against Russia. The president's intention is to let Vladimir Putin know that we are aware of what is at stake in Ukraine, Burkhardt said. French President Emmanuel Macron has also said France would be ready to make sure that Russia never wins that war. Earlier this month, Macron said there are no limits to French support for Ukraine. Deputy Chairman of Russia's Security Council Dmitry Medvedev reacted to his remarks, saying that Moscow has no more red lines left for France.